anyone around them. Well, joining me now to discuss this Royal Commentator, Robert Jobson. Uh, Robert, it seems that the Sussexes felt fit to come and clarify that these comments didn't come from them. Are you buying that? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I thought they were a little bit contrived to say that Meghan would have weighed in and said that, oh, I wouldn't have done that. I mean, you know, it, 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 the reality is, why would they do that? It would make no sense whatsoever. So, look, my feeling is I'm glad they clarified it and made sure that um, they, they didn't do it. I mean, <laughs> the bottom line is, I think it's time now to move on from this. It's been going on for, for days. Kate has admitted she made a, a genuine mistake. She's not been very well. She's recuperating at home. I think we should just draw a line under it. The, the fact is, American news agencies, you know, are, are world agencies like Reuters and AP, you know, they've got their rules, and they and you should, they, people should stick to it. But look, they are ultimately, she don't. There's nobody. There's no real damage done here. A, a long term, Kate and William won't probably won't, you know, do photographs like this again, and they make sure they issue professional photographs that are. I meet all the requirements. So I, um, I think there's others are trying to blow it out of proportion now. Others being a, a huge sway of people on the internet. A lot of people you meet at the pub at the moment, pretty much anyone you speak to, well, and of I course journalists as well. I, I think the pub, I don't know about the pub, I think on the internet, but you know, we should realise, and I, don't, I know it's hard in the media, but the internet has got some pretty wicked trolls out there, and people are writing quite appalling things that would not even be said in the pub. So I, I actually do think that we should not necessarily be ruled by the internet and try, try and take sort of media responsibility I... as organisations because, you know, the online people, online is such, mm. it's, it, it's a cesspit of wicked comments about Kate at the moment and frankly they're not worth repeating. I agree with you, Robert, in terms of uh, the cesspit of the internet and not giving the trolls any more airtime. However, uh, you know, a lot of the international media outside the UK is asking questions that many in the UK feel they can't ask because it is about the royal family. And we like to give a level of respect to the uh, Princess of Wales mm. and respect her wishes for privacy. But there seems to have been something that's gone awry in the last few days. The trust has been somewhat knocked. The communication of the trust bit, between the public and the true, palaces. But, uh, yeah, I'd say that's true to a degree. I mean, I've been covering the royal family 35 years or so. And, you know, they do issues. I think that there's... And I've written about this, saying it's a genuine mistake. It was, it, it shouldn't have happened because it does erode trust and integrity. But I think this was just a slip up. I don't think it's something that is standard practice. If you go deal with Buckingham Palace, and, uh, and they, they will make sure the photographs are issued in a great way. I think an issue that has gone on here is because Kate is a, you know, a, 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 actually quite a talented amateur photographer. She's been doing photographs of their children. Where in the past it would have been a professional photographer taking the picture. And I think that probably is an error that they've moved away from that. And I understand why, because they like to guard their privacy, but it's led to a bit of sloppiness here and a bit of unprofessionalism. And I think when you're dealing with things like this, you have to be professional. If you want to build build a wall, get a brick layer. If you want to take a picture, get a professional photographer. So I, I think that's been the error. But I do think we've, it's what, this was Monday, this all broke. It's now the middle of the week, coming up to the end of the week. I, I, just, I think that a lot of it has been made of it. And when lot, the media have brought it up in, in the White House, you know, yeah. it's just to try to stir the pot, in my opinion. Well, also because even Americans are interested in this. I mean, they are generally interested in our royal family. But, I mean, certainly they would quickly put this issue to bed, and I'm with you, Robert, it's Wednesday while we're still talking about a photo from Sunday, would be to just show the original photo. If it was an original photo that was doctored, why haven't they done that? I think because they don't want to, they don't want people pouring over the photograph again and to keep it going because if we we're all calling for that photograph to be released yes I think it would put um, an end to it all um, but of course we probably pour all over it again and then say that this is wrong with it that's wrong with it and the story will just roll on look I I think that, that they probably got the lessons learned they've got a photographer who works with them all the time a guy called Andrew Parsons used to be with Boris Johnson as his in-house photographer. I think next time, maybe just let Andrew take the pictures. Leave it to the professionals. Robert Jobson, Royal Commentator, thanks for making time this evening.